Sometimes people have what it takes, but they haven't recognized it yet. Just go forward. So what do you need to do? How do you stand out? So what you need to do is be that person that's different and is bigger than you think. Rise from the ashes and fly like the phoenixes that you are. Welcome and hello, everybody. This is Andrew David. This is Blake Newbar's partner program, The High Performance Call. So Monday through Friday, noon Eastern time. Now, it's Monday. And a lot of people wake up on Mondays and get frustrated and you, you're looking at the week and other people wake up on Mondays and go, this is going to be an amazing week. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be wonderful opportunities abound. I'm going to go out and I'm going to find success and happiness and everything else. So the question is kind of how do you handle it? So we have had um, my, my fiance and I looking at things, you know, we've talked about, I've talked about it on here a number of different times, but you know, I was just mentioning we were supposed to be traveling. We weren't able to do that because of COVID. We were supposed to do other things that didn't work out. Um, we had to put our dog down this last month, and that was traumatic for all sorts of other reasons. And a lot of you guys have been through that. And and so when you look at obstacles, man, they can pile up, right? They really can. And when you start looking for them, they can pile up. I had a conversation with a, a business owner um, recently, this morning. I was talking to him and we were talking about what, you know, getting into a marketing plan and what he's going to do for his business and trying to, you know, he's stepping into digital marketing for the first time for his business. He's been relying strictly on referrals and how am I going to do this? And, you know, he's talking about the obstacles he's had for referrals and his questions to me weren't, you know, what could be a good plan for us? How are we going to overcome this? What are some strategies that we can implement? What kind of results can we look for? And it was, all right, so what are going to be the obstacles that I'm going to have with this? What kind of problems do you foresee me having? And he wanted an outline of every excuse, problem, obstacle, and everything else that he could have. And then he started listing them. I've done some research and, and I, I feel like this is going to be a problem for me. And this is going to be a problem for me. And this is going to be a problem for me. And I just stopped him and I said, hey, you know, you're right. Every single one of those things is going to be a problem. And he kind of stopped and he went, what do you mean? And I said, well, you want problems. And so you've been searching for them. So you're going to have those problems. He goes, but, but I don't want the problems. I said, but that's all you're looking for. I said, you haven't, you haven't asked me once. I've tried to give you some strategies and solutions and systems that we can have in place and teams that we're going to have for you. And I've tried to talk to you about the support and everything that I'm going to put in place with my team. And you've cut me off at every opportunity to tell me about the problems. So where do you think you're going to end up being? I said, unless I said, here's some things I need you to look at and I need you to think. And if you feel like those obstacles are going to be a big thing for you, then we're probably not going to be a good fit. I refuse to work with someone if the only thing they're going to talk about is going to be problems. I can solve them. I know I can, but that's going to be a problem client. That's not going to be someone I want to work with long term. If every time I'm talking to them and I start to talk about strategies and opportunities and, and how to solve things. All they want to do is fo focus on the problem. So on a personal note, you know, last night, I, I mean, we had a great weekend. We worked out. We, you know, we were able to relax. We were able to get the wedding rebooked and, and you know, starting to plan things out and things are going well. And, you know, I, I we got um, between Friday and Sunday, my digital business, we, you know, we got a new client in and we're doing other, like things are going great. And then wake up this morning. And we look in, we got just recently got a, a little fish tank to try and fill that void of losing our dog, which with not as much work, I don't have to go walk the, the fish, you know, four times a day. I don't have to carry them up and down the stairs. I don't have to, you know, clean up after they're them shedding everywhere. So much easier. My fiance needed something. So we went with fish. We got a little mini crayfish. I don't know the technical name, but he's not going to grow very big, but he's a very little guy, bright red, super cool. Got a couple of other little pot belly, not clownfish, something. I don't know. She picked them out. So she's been excited every morning. She comes in a couple of times a day. She goes over the tank. She talks to the fish. I go over the tank. I talk to the fish. I'm like, this is great. So this morning I'm in here and I'm working and she's freaking out. Oh my gosh. The crayfish is dead. Why is he dead? Look. And we go in and in his little hiding place, we're shining the flashlight. And sure enough, there he is. Legs are kind of sprawled to the side. Oh my gosh, what's happening? So we go and we dig in and he wasn't dead. He had molted. He was already growing. He's just been hanging out in there because, you know, he's shedding the old, he's growing. So like, Hey, he's not dead. You don't have to get upset. And then 10 minutes later, she calls me back out there and he's almost in hysteric. 
these these two fish that we got from the um the fish store have given birth there's three <laughs> little tiny baby fish in there she's going what the hell's going on? i didn't sign up for this i said congratulations grandma <laughs> Welcome to, should it, you know, do we call you Nana? Do you want mint? Like, what do you want me to call you? And I, that didn't go over well. But so she's calling the fish store and, you know, what am I supposed to do here? Do I need to bring these back? Do I need to return? Like, <laughs> my point is, is there's going to be things in your life where you look at it and you go, oh my gosh, this is going to be a huge problem. I don't know what I'm going to do. Things like added responsibility, added stress. What about this? What about that? Oh, but I've got this problem here. I've got that. And we kind of stopped and I looked at it and I said, you know what? That just means that this week, instead of it being full of obstacles, it means it's a week of birth, of you know, things of genesis, of growth, of possibility, new life, new power, new like look at all these amazing things. Mm -hmm. There's new fish in here that we weren't planning on. There's a lobster that's grown out of torn out of his shell, and you can fill in. I'm I mean, if you guys have been on any of these calls, you know that I love metaphors. And so we, I went down that road for a minute and she's just kind of staring at me like, okay, we're taking these back. We don't have a fish tank big enough. But my point is, guys, what do you got going on right now in your life that you're looking at as an obstacle as opposed to an opportunity? What are you looking at as a problem as opposed to looking for and searching for the strategy? How are you going to get out of the frustration and into this life and, and view, point of view and everything else that's going to allow you to grow and overcome and thrive and show gratitude? So today... What I want you guys to do, we're wrapping this up right now. What I want you to do is get in, sit down, write out your obstacles, and then rewrite them as an opportunity. What is the strategy that you can implement? What can you do? How can you look at it differently than just the standard complaining? Okay? I'm, I'm, we're wrapping the call right now. I want you guys to go out, do that. Write a list of your obstacles, frustrations, problems, things that are causing stress, and rewrite them on that same page. What is the opportunity, strategy? How can you look at it from a different point of view so that it is a positive thing? Please feel free. Some of you guys share one or two of those items inside the Skype group. I would love to get some of that feedback from some of you guys, but make it an amazing day. Recognize that opportunity is all around you. It really just depends on how you look at it. Um, and on that note, I got to go get some baby fish, put them in a Tupperware and take them back to the fish store. So Everybody have an amazing day. I will see you guys tomorrow at noon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Sometimes people have what it takes, but they haven't recognized it yet. Go forward. So, so what do you need to do? How do you stand out? So what you need to do is be that person that's different and is bigger than you think. Rise from the ashes and fly like the Phoenix that you are.